Petting George by John Musico. The only one who could pet George was my mother. Anyone else who would dare try got nipped, including me. Broke my heart. George was a small black cockapoo with the self-confidence of a Great Dane. If you didn't know, a cockapoo is a cocker spaniel mixed with a poodle, not a large dog. The few times he went to the groomers would be the last. His pride could not tolerate another visit. He'd arrive home a wiener dog with a bow in his hair. This indignity shamed him such that for days he'd barricade himself under a table unseen. Ultimately, he got his way as usual and spent his remaining years a hippie with bangs so long it was a miracle he could see. It was the 60s and so his Jesus look was tolerated. For his birthday, I'd walk him down to whichever neighbor's dog was in heat and release his leash. He'd return home unescorted when he saw fit. A curfew was beneath him. When I walked him the first few walks and saw a much larger dog, at first it gave me protector anxiety. However, time proved instead of seeking my protection, it was George who was the aggressor instigating the fights. No matter how beaten, he would lunge back for some more, like Rocky Balboa. In the end, his opponent would back down. He never lost a match. Some nights you'd hear the eerie howling of a coyote pack up in the hills. I was scared, but not George. On such nights, he'd jump the fence and slip up into the, into the woods. Those nights were long. I'd sit vigil at the window, listening for a brawl, which, greatly outnumbered, would surely make George meet his end. But no such fighting ever did occur. Instead, only the sound of gentle rustling in the bushes. By morning, he would return, finally home once again, hair matted with secretions from his harem, still panting, a horny dog, George the Magnificent. Years later, he seemed to be staggering and concerned. I dared to pat his back. He looked up at me, not with his usual Archie Bunker sneer, which heralded him lashing out at me, but rather a reassurance that it was finally okay to pet him. I had earned his respect. Just as my hand patted his back, he collapsed dead. Broke my heart. I had finally pet my dog.